Well, big Bills fans are en route to the Sunshine State as the team gets ready to take on the Miami Dolphins. We spotted plenty of fans today taking off from the Buffalo Airport bound for South Florida. Mm. Now, most of them, of course, decked out in Bills gear ahead of the Thursday night game. Yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be one to watch for sure with the Bills hot coming off their big win against the Arizona Cardinals just this past Sunday. Well, Channel 2 Sports Director John Scott is in South Florida ahead of the showdown. Welcome back to South Florida, where it is once again hot and humid. This will be a storyline tomorrow night, even with a night game here, because the temperatures are expected to still be in the 80s and feel like they're in the 90s. We've seen the Bills play games against the Dolphins down here, where heat, humidity can become a problem. Just something to put in the back of your mind as the kickoff is set for 8:15 on Thursday night. As for the Bills side of things, all eyes going to be on that left hand of Josh Allen. He's not listed on the injury report. So we should be good to go. Only question will be whether or not he's going to wear a glove like we saw in practice on that hand. Miami also dealing with some injuries. Both of their running backs, one is already listed as out. The other is considered a game time decision. So a potent passing attack that could have some issues with a lot of backups in their backfield. Greg Rousseau, a guy who played his college ball here at the University of Miami, named AFC Defensive Player of the Week. So he's coming in hot after a career high three sacks in the opener against the Arizona Cardinals. Bills and Dolphins Thursday night football set to kick off around 815 from South Florida. John Scott, Channel 2 Sports. You got it, John. Thank you. Coming up next at 6, Channel 2's Chelsea Swift breaks down the Swift effect with Taylor Swift endorsing her pick for president and the impact it will have.